Hey YouTubers, it's me, Beating Luke, and a lot has happened to me. So the reason for this video is actually, it's more of an update just to let everyone know what's going on with me personally and what's going on with the future of my channel. Right. If you're a subscriber to my channel, I just wanna say thank you very much. I'm gonna keep on putting the content out, put content out on an average of five to seven days. Now, going forward, I am able to continue doing content on my channel. I just can't obviously walk. I've got a broken ankle. I have a fracture here. I have a fracture going up the side here, which will heal, but I'm gonna be down and out in a sense for six to eight weeks in a pot. And then I've got to basically get back on my feet through physiotherapy. And I'm just here to share a story really, just as what's happened, keep you updated as to what's going on. Just so you, you're not like, hmm, why is this content not coming out? I am able to do the content still, but it will be to a limited capacity where I'm not able to get around as easy. So like I said, there'll still be the playthroughs coming out. I'm still trying to get through The Last of Us 2. You'll see more of that going up soon. But Beef Do, how did you do it? Like, you know, how did you break your ankle? Why did you end up in this state? Really a crazy story. Things like this don't normally happen to me. I decided to go on a family trip over to a small town in the northwest of England called Ulverston and overlooking Ulverston there's um, a massive hill with a massive tower they call it the Sir John Barrow Monument sometimes I think I got cursed that day for not being able to pronounce it but yeah it, this 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 hill is absolutely massive you can't drive up it it's so steep you've got to literally just park up at the bottom walk all the way up there's a path up there, it's very steep. Uh, it's steeper than most places I've been to. Any like, you know, I've been to like Connish Castle before, um, but yeah, this is pretty steep. And the only way to get up there is on foot, steep path, and then at the top, Sir John Barrow Monument, if you can see in the pictures, is a tall tower. Such an amazing view. Ulverston, you can see out to the sea, magnificent view. Anyway, when we got to the top, literally you can sit on a bench, uh, look down on everything, beautiful walk. I highly recommend it, but with the right footwear. So whilst I'm sat on the top there, up there with my family, clouds break open, massive shower comes pouring down. Just a quick shower, nothing more. And then I'm thinking, right, let's get the hell off this, this hill. So we start walking down the hill. It's all like sheep up there, grass. The path doesn't actually start till you start to come down from the top. And I'm walking back with my, my family. I'm walking ahead. I'm actually wearing some K-Swiss trainers. Yes, they still do those. Yes, I'm one of those people that still only wear K-Swiss and nothing else. I'm kind of strange that way. And um, as soon as my foot hits the path, wet footwear, straight back, crack. Never felt such pain in my life. This pain, as soon as I hit that ground, I felt something crack, I heard something crack. And honestly, for a second, I just, for, for a second, literally, I was thinking, holy shit, I hope there's no bones sticking out. I am so squeamish when it comes to like bones sticking out. Anyway, I didn't know why I slipped at the time. I couldn't move, you know, it's so far down. I was thinking, how the hell am I gonna get off here? As soon as I went down, you know, I'm hundreds of miles from home. And I just thought to myself, how the hell am I gonna get off this bloody hill? So, um, 
inside at the time. I could feel my bone split in two and I couldn't move it. I had to literally lay there. My Apple Watch went off, it called 999 luckily. I was thinking, oh my God, I'm quite a big guy. I've got a broad figure and you know, I'm not the lightest guy around. So I'm thinking, how the hell am I supposed to make it down this bloody hill? I was thinking, do I put my money on an air ambulance? I really don't want to waste people's time, but it's either that or huh, I'm stuck here. So anyway, um, the Apple Watch called 999 and they said we were very busy. I ended up laying down. Um, my, my little boy gave me his coat so I could put my head on like a pillow and just lay in one position. It took them 40 minutes to get to me. This little slip here. Duddon and Furnace Mountain Rescue Team, who were a charity organisation, were contacted by 999. They are not paid. They are, like I said, they're a charity organisation. I am donating some money, quite, you know, a good little bit of a donation to them um, very soon. And I'm going to shout out to them on social media for saving my life. Sending a mountain rescue team of 10 people, yes, 10 people, up to, to carry me the whole way down and into the back of an ambulance. Now, the most pain I ever felt was there and then. It's fine now, I've had the medical care, I've got the drugs, thank you for the NHS. The NHS are amazing. The mountain rescue team, I'm gonna shout out for you very soon. Keep an eye out. And um, yeah, when they came up to me, they took my footwear off, cut my jeans up, uh, didn't want to move me. They gave me like this lollipop thing that I had to put in my mouth and like kept rotating around my mouth. It was an instantaneous pain relief. And they sent a doctor up with the mountain rescue team. Uh, the doctor managed to turn my leg splint it and then they had to roll me into like as you can see um it's like think of a sleeping bag rather than what you get in covers you up just wrapped around you then they managed to once they got me wrapped up and forgive me like you know i was screaming in pain because when they wrap you up they have to get you in firmly and i was begging them just to not Timing firmly by the leg because that's where the pain was. But oh my god, they tried the best. Once they had me in there, they then loaded me up onto a stretcher, and literally five guys down both sides had to lift me. It was that far down that they had to take a rest four times, and then at the bottom, there's like um, a confined gating area, then they had to push me right up get me over the gating area into the back of an ambulance and then i ended up in the barrow infirmist hospital which was a good 30 minute drive as soon as i went into the back they had me on laughing gas to reduce the pain forgive the nurse that i had to talk a little shit to when i was on laughing gas never been on that ever and the doctor came in to me and he just said look um, you have broken it and there's a fracture up the support inside what, that supports your weight. He goes, we're going to have to put it back into place, put you to sleep tonight, then tomorrow you'll have to be put, to put under again and we're going to have to put two screws into the side of your leg. So they put me under, put it back into place to make the operation down the theatre easier. And because of Steve Carino, rather than going down the next evening, 24 hours later, rather than being put into the actual room where they put you under and then going to the main operating theatre, they have a regulation where they just roll you straight into the operating theatre, big massive clock. Never been or seen in the inside of an operating theatre in my life and they all then have to get all the personal protection equipment on for safety measures. And not only did I have to get lifted on my own ward bed, 
onto the operating feet of the table. They put supports on the side so I could get my arms and before putting me under, uh, they whisked this little table back with a cloth on the top and there was all the drills and the screws and I thought, oh shit, it's either this or you're not gonna walk right again, so. I'm not squeamish or anything. I just don't like bones popping out of ankles or anything like that. I was put under, came out, when I woke up, I had two burning sensations of screws that I could feel in my foot and spent three days in hospital, you know, on medication before I was released. But yeah, that's the story of me a break in my ankle and having the medical care that I required. Thank you very much to the NHS, the Duddon and Furness Mountain Rescue Team for saving my life. I wanted to keep you up to, up to date. If obviously I started another video and I'm sat here in a cast and you're thinking, why the hell is he in a cast? Well, now you know. So anyway, loyal YouTubers, subscribers, if you enjoyed this video, go down there and smash that like button. Then if you want future content from my channel in future, scroll on over to the other side, hit that subscribe button. And finally, if you want notifications as when my videos go live in future, just go down there and smash that bell. YouTubers, I'm a broken B-Doog. Peace out.